What is up, L's and G's? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we've got a little more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, something interesting that not a lot of people seem to ever really talk about in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Obviously, we get new cards revealed for hype archetypes. People will talk about that, ban list, that stuff. Um, but we do have a name for the next Yu-Gi-Oh! core set, which kind of feels a little early. We don't even have uh, the set currently fully revealed. What's the new one? It's like... Uh... Oh man, I can't even remember the, the the current one that's getting released. Oh, terrible. Whatever. Um, it's the it's the one Dawn of Majesty. There you go. Um, and now we're getting this. Like we're actually not even halfway through getting it revealed, but we do have Burst of Destiny. Um, kind of funny because it's like this could easily be. <laughs> this is like a synonym for the most like the one that's getting revealed right now. Dawn of Majesty, Burst of Destiny. They seem like so so similar, but. I don't know, like sometimes I like to look at these and analyze them in the way, in like the mindset of, oh, what does that title mean? What does the thing mean? I like, oh, we had we had uh, lightning overdrive. Is that gonna be something like electric base? Maybe a thunder archetype will be thrown in there. There wasn't. In fact, Thunder Dragon came in um Oh my gosh, why can I not remember? Blazing Vortex, Jesus. Um, I was thinking uh, Flames of Destiny, or uh, Destruction. Um, and, and like randomly, like Metal Foes is one of the only like fire attribute things, like even in that entire set, so that didn't really make sense either. Whatever, so the names really don't give us too much, but it is still hype to talk about a new core set because we just know it's on the horizon. Um, this is set for the OCG uh, to release in July, uh, in July on the 17th which means pretty much they're like less than four months away, which means we'll also probably start getting reveals for this in like less than two months, which is kind of, it's just so crazy. I, I love how good Konami is at churning out new products. Um, maybe someday we'll run into the problem of there just being too many cards out in the game. Um, but for now, they're chugging along. I love it. I love new cards. They're so exciting to me. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This is this is one of those things. Burst of Destiny it doesn't really tell you anything. The only thing I could even slightly think of here is like maybe main character cards. I don't like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of main character cards are all like just the main characters in, in anime in general. Just like, oh, like they are the the duelist of destiny or of prophecy or whatever. And that, that kind of falls in line there. Um, or fortune ladies. <laughs> I know fortune ladies isn't really like... Uh, I probably won't get support here. We've, we've actually gotten a fair amount of Fortune Lady support in like the last two years. So I really don't expect that to be the case. But still, that's like the only thing I could really think of just based off of the name Burst of Destiny. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Obviously, I'm just one guy. You you all as a collective might think of something a little more as a little more substance to it than that of, of what this could mean. Even though it probably doesn't tell us anything, like I said, Lightning Overdrive has like nothing electric related and Blazing Vortex had Armed Thunder Dragon as the cover card. Like what What are we doing here? Um, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below on this set. I I'm really excited for it. I just wanted to make a quick little video telling you just, hey, next two months we'll probably start getting stuff for the next core set. Uh, after the one that we're already like halfway through and we'll finish in the next like month probably so I'm hype. I love new Yu-Gi-Oh sets. I can't wait honestly And I hope it's well when I get core sets I always want them to be more like lightning overdrive like is it just me or does lightning overdrive have just like a ton of awesome like support cards like it's like no matter where you look it's like oh Trap Tricks, that's like a rogue deck. Oh, like, you know what I mean? It's like everywhere you turn, like Rose Dragon's now playable. Adagnister is now a legit, like, rogue deck, tier two deck. Like, it's like everywhere you turn, you're like, wow, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That makes so many different decks that are like already just kind of like under, just under the bar of like competitive, like true competitive play, like potentially raising them up. And that's, those are the sets I love the most. I have a lot of cards I'm excited for out of that set specifically. Blazing Vortex has some stuff. Every set has some stuff for somebody, right? Um, but I just feel like Lightning Overdrive is one of those sets that reminds me of like Eternity Code. There were a ton of cool cards. You had like, you had Girsu for Orcus. You had Archosaur for Dinos. You had all these decks that were already like kind of pretty good. And you had like really powerful cards coming for them. So it really like, 
did feel like it could have some meta implications. And even if it doesn't, even if it's not enough to really raise a lot of these decks to like tier one status, it does help them and anybody who does love those decks and making them just better. And, and that's what I love is when there's a ton of rogue players out there and everybody's playing something different. I don't want to play like for the same deck in a tournament. Sure, it makes deck building easier because you can plan on playing one specific deck and just build around that and capitalize on that. But I don't know. I'd rather be playing a bunch of different decks. Just so much more interesting and fun that way. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me here, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what, what you're thinking for Burst of Destiny. What you'd like to see. If you love an archetype, what archetype cards do you want to see in here and why just throw it in there uh but that's gonna do it for me here just a little kind of sprinkle news bit for you today and i'm gonna get the hell out of here thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace